there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com and this is Muffin and I am here for a new weekly vlog. This is the first vlog I've done in quite some time as I was taking a little time off and if I look a little less than presentable tonight it's because I got a COVID shot and a flu shot yesterday and now I'm suddenly not feeling so well. But anyway, I do want to show you uh, the sales that I've had today. So I'm going to get right to that. And here are the items that I sold. I guess we'll start with this. This is a, an antique medical book called Surgical Techniques. It dates from 1926, so it's almost 100 years old, and it's got some really neat, um, well, I won't show you, but it's got some really neat illustrations all the way through it, those cool black and white illustrations. Um, and that sold for $58. And then underneath all the jewelry, we have a Fiesta plate in turquoise. It's a divided plate. And I had nine of these to start with in different colors. I think I'm down to five now. And that plate sold for $45. Uh, we have this sterling silver hand-stamped and turquoise pillbox, which is clearly Navajo in style. It's not marked at all, but I did test it. It is sterling silver. It is real turquoise. And um, these are hot little items if you find them. I, I knew. I, I just felt it when I was listening and I was like, somebody's going to grab this right up. And they did. $135. And that I got that as part of an auction lot um, from a, an auction house here where I live. And that one sale pretty much paid, almost paid for the lot. Well, not quite. Maybe two-thirds of it. So, that's good, though. Okay, then we have this rhinestone tiara with the wave, wave of rhinestones. That sold for $19. Uh, these are some sterling silver dangle earrings with little people, little stick figure people. It reminds me of Oh, that graffiti artist that does the little people. These are artisan made. They're very cute. Um, and those, let's see, earrings were $34. And we have a beautiful mid-century rhinestone bracelet. Look how pretty that is. Really, really, really good condition. And that sold for 48 And then we have some gilded cloisonne beads, well, a necklace. Anyway, this is like Chinese cloisonne beads. Very pretty. And the cloisonne beads sold for 49 And is that it? I think that's everything. Hi there. It is Tuesday night, and what did I do today? I played pickleball today. This is my new thing. I'm playing pickleball twice a week trying to learn how to play it. I'm not what you'd call a natural athlete. So, um, I'm requiring a lot of lessons and coaching to get where I can play with my friends and not be so embarrassed because I miss every ball, you know. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And I have a few listings to show you, new listings, and a couple sales. One really good sale. I saw sold 14 items of silver jewelry to one person ended up being four hundred and something dollars and she's in Japan which is really cool so I will show you those momentarily okay here's one recent listing I believe I did this yesterday this is a multi gemstone sterling silver hinged cuff bracelet um, I did test all the stones they are amethyst garnet blue topaz citrine and peridot and that I listed for $78. And we have this very basic but nicely made sterling silver pinky ring. It is, oh, there's Muffin. <laughs> it is made by the Wheeling Manufacturing Company of uh, Lemon, South Dakota. And they've been around since 1949. Apparently the entire town of Lemon, South Dakota is employed by this company. 
and um, they do they make a lot of the uh, souvenir Native American style jewelry for like the trading posts and souvenir stands and whatnot um, so uh, you can't really say this is Native American style because it's just a plain band but it is a nice little piece and that listed for 22 and here are some genuine Navajo sterling silver and black onyx earrings they are signed P just plain P and I was not able to attribute that to anybody I don't know if you can see it but anyway they're quite nice they're heavy and I listed those for um, 48 what did I say on that bracelet? 72 on the bracelet, 48 for the earrings, 22 for the ring. And then I listed a couple of pieces of fabric. I know it's a little bit dark in here. Let's see. Those are just some, some pieces of ecot fabric. Um, this one, I believe, is silk. And it, it used to be a skirt and was taken apart. And it would be really easy to construct it back into a skirt because all the edges are finished. It's like a wraparound skirt. It has a a hole for the tie to go through. Somebody removed the ties and took out some darts and otherwise that's all they did. But you could also use the fabric for something else. That was twenty-four dollars. And then this, which it is genuine ecot, it is however a synthetic. But beautiful pattern on this. Twenty-four on that also. So here are the 14 items ordered by my Japanese customer, and um, I, because the receipt is not in American dollars, I don't have a list of all the prices, but the prices in general are between $32 and $38. There's a few that are a little different, like these, these are very heavy, uh, Mexican silver and onyx, so these were $40 something dollars, and then... Uh, this I think I listed for less. It's a wire work. And I think that one was like $26. And this little, um, this is a Bowcraft Sterling boat. I think that was a little less. Bow Sterling is normally really, really desirable, but there are a lot of those boats <laughs> out on the market. So I think that that was also listed as 24 or 26 um, And most of the rest are in the 30s. Um, this one's got some little gemstones in it, little modernist brooch. This is a uh, older, 1940s maybe, big honkin' brooch, abstract. This one looks like the Nike swoosh. I think it predates that though. Let's see, what does that mark say? Mm, who knows, it just says Mexico 95, so... Who knows how old that is. Got the little X's and O's pin. That's really cute. I think that's Mexican silver, but a newer piece. And these have a black enamel X in them earrings. Got some little malachite earrings. These are um, signed Bocho, B-O-C-C-O. -C -C -O. Uh, these are some nice hefty ones with a little brass detailing on it. These ones are nice and more black onyx. And uh, are these Mexican silver? Yeah, these are Mexican silver also. And we have some more. These are malachite and um, black onyx. These are 950 silver. Gosh, those are so pretty. Uh, and then we had one necklace, this chain necklace. And, okay, then I have one other thing to show you. So this is my second item, which, oh, I'm, I'm doing a video. Um, so this is my second item, and what this is, and I'll show you a picture, is a pair of jeans. You might remember if you've been watching my videos, 
that I did all this patching and embroidery on these jeans. Oh my gosh, it was so much work. And uh, anyway, they did sell today for $78. This is my cycling friends, and I just informed them that they were going to be on YouTube. They didn't realize I've been putting all these videos up on YouTube, so hey. they didn't know that they were famous. Hi there. It is a Wednesday night. As you can see, I have, I am not very refreshed from my bike ride. I'm still kind of grungy, but at least I'm still getting out there. Yay. Um, I have a few things that I got listed today and one sale to show you, but it's a good one. Okay, first up is this rather large piece of reclaimed upholstery fabric. It's a beautiful um, kind of a teal blue and gold brocade. It's, I don't know how many yards it is. It's, it's, a, it's got an odd shape to it because it was reclaimed from a chair or something. But I listed that at 32. And then we have another piece of upholstery that's kind of a another sort of a looks like a Turkish rug but it's really upholstery fabric and it's a small remnant and that listed for um, 27 and let's see what else do we have here I listed these like these three rings I put them all in one listing but um, they are sold separately they're um, cable rings, I guess is what the terminology is. And there's an amethyst and a blue topaz and a peridot. And you can take your pick and buy one or all three for, what, $29 a piece, $27 a piece? Now I've forgotten. And let's see, I think maybe, maybe that was it for today. And this is the one piece that I sold today. It is, a, I believe it's 12 or 14 karat gold. And um, the stone in the center is, I think it's quartz with gold veining in it. And I think that this is probably antique. I think it's probably um, maybe Edwardian, maybe even late Victorian. And I know it's dark in here, so it's not going to focus for you very well. But it's a beautiful little pendant. And that sold for $175. So pretty cool. It is Friday night and this is the only sale I've had in two days. It's feast or famine around here. Um, this is a silver plated kind of lacy filigree pendant on a chain that sold for $19. Hi there. It is Saturday morning and I'm going to show you a few things that I got listed, oh, I don't know, this week sometime. Hasn't been a lot of listing going on this week for some reason. And we have this little turquoise ring, sterling silver, kind of a filigree with a square stone. I don't know too much about it, except that it's very pretty. And I listed that for uh, 28 and then lastly, we have this adorable little dancing man pendant necklace. It's on a nice sterling silver box chain from Italy. And I suspect he might be Native American, even though it doesn't scream Native American. Maybe it's some kind of a, I don't know, dancer of some kind. But see the typeface that sterling is in? That's very, very often used in Native American jewelry. I don't think it's a for sure. But it could be. Anyway, he's only listed for $22. He's so cute. And here it is, already Sunday night. And these are the items that I sold over the weekend. Uh, this is a, um, call it a slave bracelet, where the ring and the bracelet are attached with the chain. It's got a little bit of a uh, mosaic turquoise in there. Let's see, are these? I don't think this is silver. Is it? I don't remember. I don't think so. Um, but it's kind of cute. It has a unicorn on it. And that was $36. And then this pair of enamel flower pins. 
this sold for 26 for the two. And this, I just listed this. This is a Wolpert, uh, signed Wolpert piece. He, he did, um, he's a very well-known um, Jewish-American artist who did, who's known for doing Judaica religious pieces. And this is in Hebrew, and I've already forgot what it says, what it means. But anyway, um, that sold for $48. And we have some Siam silver earrings. These are kind of different. They have a little dangle hanging in the middle of a little um, god or goddess, I guess. And then yellow frame, kind of shaped like an eye or a peacock feather. Anyway, they're, I thought they were really pretty. Um, let's see, those uh, sold for 27 and then this wonderful the sterling silver dachshund pin. He's very cute. He sold for $35. Gosh, that's cheap because that's a big hunk of silver. Okay, and so this is Sunday night. That means it's the end of a vlog. I think feels like it must be a really short one because um, I just haven't really gotten back into the groove yet, but I'm trying. I'm hoping I'll gradually get back to making at least two videos a week. I hope. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And um, leave a comment if you care to. I do respond to all comments. And share with your friends. And that's it. Have a great week. We'll see you soon. Bye.